I'm going to start this by reading from an L.A. Times article. The article is titled, FBI says fortune seized in Beverly Hills raid was criminal's loot. Owners say, where's the proof? By Michael Finnegan. After the FBI seized Joseph Ruiz's life savings during a raid on a safe deposit box business in Beverly Hills, the unemployed chef went to court to retrieve his $57,000. Unemployed chef, $57,000. A judge ordered the government to tell Ruiz why it was trying to confiscate the money. It came from drug trafficking, an FBI agent responded in court papers. Ruiz's income was too low for him to have that much money, and his side business selling bongs made from liquor bottles suggested he was an unlicensed pot dealer, the agent wrote. The FBI also said a dog had smelled unspecified drugs on Ruiz's cash. The FBI was wrong. When Ruiz produced records showing the source of his money was legitimate, the government dropped its false accusation and returned his money. Ruiz is one of roughly 800 people whose money and valuables the FBI seized from safe deposit boxes they rented at the U.S. private vault store in a strip mall on Olympic Boulevard. Federal agents had suspected for years that criminals were stashing loot there, and they assert that's exactly what they found. The government is trying to confiscate $86 million in cash and a stockpile of jewelry, rare coins, and precious metals taken from about half the boxes. But six months after the raid, the FBI and U.S. Attorney's Office in L.A., have produced no evidence of criminal wrongdoing by the vast majority of box holders whose belongings the government is trying to keep. About 300 of the box holders are contesting the attempted confiscation. Ruiz and 65 others have filed court claims saying the dragnet forfeiture operation is unconstitutional. It was a complete violation of my privacy, Ruiz said. They tried to discredit my character. Prosecutors so far have outlined past criminal convictions or pending charges against 11 box holders to justify the forfeitures. But in several other cases, court records show the government's rationale for claiming that the money and property it seized was tied to crime is no stronger than it was against Ruiz. Federal agents say the use of rubber bands and or other ordinary methods of storing cash were indications of drug trafficking or money laundering. There's more here. There's more here. I, I, I'm going to link the article in the description. First, gotta love how these people just have to use language that makes this seem normal. That makes this seem like something that we should accept. S Imagine if they just said stole, you know? <laughs> it's like died after when the cops shoot somebody. Uh, or otherwise kill them. It's not murder, it's not killing. The cop didn't kill him, he died after. The cop fired a bullet into him. Um, it's like that here. Uh, like, after the FBI stole Joseph Ruiz's life savings during a raid on a safe deposit box business. <sighs> Ruiz is one of roughly 800 people whose money and valuables the FBI stole from safe deposit boxes. But six months prior to the robbery... The FBI and U.S. Attorney's Office in L.A. This is how it should be. But it's not. Because this is how people think society should work. Uh, as an anarchist, I, I get flack sometimes for saying taxation is theft. 
because it's not theft, it goes to X, Y, and Z. Even if that's the case, the U.S. government operates on theft. I mean, it's not the case. Taxation definitely is theft. But I just thought I'd go over some ways that we can talk about theft in theft terms and not the state's flowery language. Um, so I thought that this would be a, a good place to start because this is the article that sort of made me want to do this video today. Um, but it's not the only case, right? Civil asset forfeiture is huge. Basically, we don't like the fact that you're carrying a lot of money and we're going to take it from you. We don't need to prove that any of it was obtained by illegal means. We just need to take it. We're taking it. We're taking your money, your valuables, your possessions. We're taking it. That's all we're doing. Fuck you. That's what civil asset forfeiture is. And you got a bunch of money. You were going to use it to do things that you needed to do. Not anymore. Because now you have to pay for all your court fees. Because in the form of uh, taking it, we'll also take any sort of liberty you have to get it back legally. Without going through the legal process, which we will not pay for. Even if taxation is not theft... How is that not theft? It's theft. It's theft. And even if they don't like where the money came from, if it came from a victimless offense, like drugs, oh no, he might have stole, sold some, some marijuana along with his bongs. That means that we should be able to take what he earned from his sales from consensual transactions with people it's theft um it's not civil i don't i try not to call it civil asset forfeiture too because it's not civil it's just asset theft you're not forfeiting it it's not forfeit they're taking it. They're stealing it. You didn't give it to them. That's what forfeiture would be. Forfeiting is when you do it. Not when it's done to you. It's just theft. And there are so many examples of theft. So I, I thought I'd go over some of them. I, I, I went, made a, a list here. Um, and this is by no means a complete list of the ways the U.S. government steals. They're just stealing. That's all they're doing. They're stealing. Prison labor, in no particular order, is where they force people into jail or prisons, and they then say that you can, you know, get more humanely treated in the form of, like, basic necessities and amenities and shit if you work for us. Maybe even get time off if you work for us. And it's not slavery because we pay you. We pay you, like, a few cents or a few bucks. We pay you. That's theft. I, I really don't care what anybody calls that. That's fucking theft. When you're taking the majority of the value of somebody's labor from, like, a transaction they're basically forced into being a part of, you're forcing their labor. You're enslaving them. It's slave labor with a few cents on top but it's still 
theft. It's theft. Um, drug seizures. Oh no, they exchange things that people want for other things that people want. Blow up their homes. Point guns at their family. Electrocute them. Beat them. Use chemicals on them. Sick dogs on them. Shoot them. Because they have things that we don't want them to have, and they're exchanging them in ways that we don't want them to exchange them, in ways that we don't get part of the cut from. So now, we're going to not only destroy your property, but we're going to threaten and harm everyone in it, and we're going to steal what you have made what you have like traded consensually for fucking money we're going to steal that it's theft it's it's like how this isn't obvious when they teach you don't take things that don't belong to you Unless the U.S. government is saying, like, you know, pulling a rouge the bat, like, all the drugs in the world are mine to keep. Theft. It's theft. It's theft. So, when you get down to that, let's get to something that's less scary, because they get away with that theft. It's theft based on the fact that uh, people... Are, are okay with hating drugs. Drugs are, are suddenly a category where you can't do it, right? Um, because of a racist war on drugs that was started and perpetuated by racists who used that in order to generate more prison labor for more theft. So, but you know, if, if, if drugs are too scary for you, if that's too scary for you to admit that the U.S. government are a bunch of thieves, why not stealing food from people feeding homeless people? You know, why don't we talk about the fact that regularly unlicensed food drives are fucking shut down. The state would rather the homeless starve than get fed by somebody they don't know, don't like, aren't on good terms with. They will throw the food into trash bags and cover it in bleach and or other noxious chemicals so that when they throw it in the local dumpsters, the homeless people can't even recover it from there. They have removed the dignity from the entire thing. And they've, they've tainted the supply in the dumpsters. So if they were going to a dumpster dive in that dumpster, if there was anything good there before, before the, the now tainted uh, like homeless food that, that got destroyed by the evil state of thieves... Um, if there was anything good in there, they can't use it now. Nobody can. Hell, the dumpster might just be fucked for a bit. Or people have to endure fucking possibly toxic risk to themselves. <sighs> because that's what it is. It's theft, but it's also brutality. It's indignity. It's cruelty. That's the state for you. Inflation! Let's talk about inflation. Let's talk about the fact that they're having their little games with the debt ceiling again. And saying, hey, 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 we gotta raise it again. We gotta raise the debt ceiling because otherwise this dollar, which is so much less valuable than the amount of debt that's piled on top of it. 
We got we got to raise that debt ceiling so that we can keep the value of both. That's the way that's the way that is. So so the inflation that they do basically they're exchanging IOUs on accounts with nothing in them and that generates the initial like base currency. And then that currency is filtered through fractional reserve banking and the debt industry itself to create a massive pool of inflation. And that gets increased every time they print more money, which circulates through the economy and increases it again. And that inflation then drives up the prices of things because in order to get the same amount of value from it, you know what they have to do? In order to get the same amount of value from it, they have to get more money, more numbers, because the money has been made less valuable. And the U.S. government can do this whenever they want, thus effectively scuttling the value of savings long term and raising the price of goods and the cost of living, thus stealing from your future and stealing from your present with a flick of a pen. It's theft. They're stealing it from you. They don't need your permission to destroy the value of your currency. They don't need your permission to make food cost more in your local area or any other sort of good or service or commodity. They don't need that. They just did it. And now you have less. It's theft. What else is theft? Eminent domain. It's it's one of those fun areas where the Democrats get to ignore how much it happens under their guy because Biden is still doing eminent domain for parts of the border fence. Oh no, I'm not gonna do that. Not another foot. Ho ho But 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 you know what? I'm still gonna take your land. I'm still going to take your land and I'm still going to build this wall. Uh -huh. And it's not a wall either. It's a fence. That's the great part about the great again wall is that it never was. Um, but just, you know, to get that out of the way, eminent domain is we want your land. Give it. There's nothing more to it. It's theft. And, and the fact that it's considered anything but is fucking astonishing. So, all these things that are theft are being done. They're theft. Let's talk about imperialism. We want your land overseas. But that's not touching our borders. So, if we can't outright just take it like we did Hawaii and a bunch of U.S. territories, if we can't just take it, then what we'll do is we'll steal your land by political processes and wars and fucking corporate territorial power grabs. We'll, we'll use foreign aid as hooks into your country so that you have to do what we say or risk destabilizing your economy. We'll get you addicted to our system. We'll steal your culture. We'll erase it and replace it with our own. We're all living in America. America is wunderbar. It's theft. And, and like... It's not just that with imperialism either. It's the theft of natural resources. It's the theft of those local economies' futures. It's the theft of their stability in the form of bombing campaigns and depleted uranium and we're going to dump all our garbage here now but we're totally green it's theft. And it, it's not just overseas. 
you know? I mean, they are, they are helping other nations steal land, too. How big is Israel now? How small is Palestine now? But it's at home, too. Because if they don't like how you're parenting, they'll steal your children. There was this woman who lost dual custody because she wouldn't get vaccinated. So the kid went to the parent who was. They just stole the kid from her. They couldn't prove that she was abusing the kid. They couldn't prove that he was being malnourished or neglected or that he was at risk of any sort of like thing with school or whatever. They, they just said, you didn't do what we want. We're taking your kid. Your kid can live with your ex. And that's just one case. So many cases. We think you're too alternative. We caught you in a drug raid. We caught somebody you're affiliated with in a drug raid. We're stealing your kids. This house is substandard because it's all you could afford because of the shit economy we left you with. We're stealing your children. You're unemployed and about to be evicted because of a crisis we created. We're stealing your children. And the worst part is the children in foster care and shit like that, they're at increased, massively increased risk of sex trafficking. And they go missing a lot too. You know, like missing white girl syndrome was in the news recently. How many times is missing kids in the news anymore? Or are we just numb to it now? Ooh, we put them on the back of some milk cartons and put them on some wanted posters around town. Ha 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 ha. Amber alert. We put on an amber alert. That means we're good enough. <laughs> it's theft. It's theft. You know, raiding alternative farms. Raw some foods, anyone? This happens a lot to places that don't conform to the state standards, who have traditional or in some way like, you know, part of their religious practices, etc. Not good enough. We're going to come in and fuck your place up. We're going to steal what you put here and we're going to destroy it. It's theft. So is destroying small food stands and startup businesses and shit. Taking the lemonade away from the kids who are selling it. That's theft. It's theft. And why am I repeating this so much? Why am I harping on this so much? Maybe because the question of whether taxation is theft or not would be a lot easier for people to answer and a lot easier for people to cope with the answer if they recognize that the rest of the system was also based on theft. It's theft. It's brutality. It's murder. It's environmental destruction. It's corporate greed. It's regulatory capture. It's fascism. It's theft. That's what the U.S. government is. It's theft. They're stealing, and they don't need to care how you feel about it. And they'll make whatever laws they need to to justify the theft. And to continue doing more theft. And I could go on and on and on for hours, days, years about all the ways that the U.S. government and any government in the world at all is guilty of theft. It's theft. So is taxation. I'm going to take what you earned and I'm going to take as much of it as I fucking want to. You don't like it. Fuck you.
It's theft. It, it's sometimes frustrating pretty deeply to hear people's justifications. To hear people have all the opinions in the world but no real facts. And to get special exceptions for what they would otherwise call unethical. It's theft. And when you start to realize that the state is not God, it's not the deity they want you to worship, praise the sanctity of, never desecrate the temples, or belittle the priests. When you realize that they're just like you, you realize that all they're doing when they're taking what you own is theft. So I just thought I'd do this little rant here. I'm exhausted. I'm going to clock out. Oppose theft everywhere. And realize that the only way to get, truly get a theft-free society, even though that'll never really happen, smash the state.